Where I go? Right. In Mali, we call it he tells you that I'm Mali. And this is, this is terribly deep. And they're the only people that I can sit with that give me their, that particular sense of peace and well-being and being understood. I'm sympathetic and sorry for the simple reason that I've seen the yearning in their eyes, in their actions of going back to live in the rural environment that he is accustomed to, where it's by a stream, by the sea, where he has his garden, his own grow, his own vegetables and all this sort of thing which is part of his life. All that is gone. Not at all, not all the land. It's all united under the city council today. All even surrounding lands here. It's all for city council. They're the number one today. Sad strangle the whole place. Mean to say. We're just onlookers now. We're just onlookers. Over the past 20 years, a whole city has grown up here and enveloped the Ngāti Toa Marae. A hasty building program that sought to house people pouring into urban areas for work failed at first to provide adequate community facilities, places where people could come together and develop a community feeling in the ways they had done in rural areas. For who came here, it was difficult to establish links among families and to maintain contact between older and younger people. My children are European. They know nothing of the Maori culture. And they don't even speak the language, which is not their fault, it is my fault. And I was one of those who was impressed by the teaching of the old days, or my youth, where we weren't allowed to talk Maori. We had to forget everything Maori. Now, it was an indoctrination that perhaps did get a hold of me, where I thought, well, to become a good New Zealander in the Western sense of the world, I'd have to step right away from my Maori culture. And this is what I have done with my children. Now, they are good New Zealanders, but they're not good Maoris. It's difficult to build that, to replace something that should have been done automatically as a child. Do you regret that they didn't have this? That yes, they don't I have do. this? I do. Yeah. And I think there are a lot of Maoris in, in the same position as I am who regret it now. Mm-hmm. And I'm not ashamed to admit that I am uh, very regretful that I had, that I'd taken this step. <laughs> The general pattern is that uh, you have parents that can speak some Māori varying degrees and children that don't really speak it at all very much. The school at which Ted Davis teaches has a 60% Polynesian role. One third of the school is Māori. Most have had very little contact with traditional Māori communities. Like many Māori parents in Porirua, Ted and Mary Davis are concerned that their own children may not experience the style of life they grew up with in their home areas or learn the values they believe are important in that rural life. I like them to live not thinking of what they should do for their own enjoyment, but rather what they should do so that they can all enjoy themselves. Mm. And by all I mean all their cousins and aunts and what have you. They're not going to just um, live as a as a very small unit, but they have to learn to live with other people. Mm. I can't do that in Purirua. Mm. 